Welcome back live to Fox News. Today we will be discussing the water cycle. Now, in my opinion, evaporation is the first part of the water cycle, but no one knows. Now, evaporation is when the water is heated by the sun and turns into water vapor and goes up into the sky. Hard to believe. Now, the next part is condensation, meaning it the water turns into clouds and it fills up with water droplets. Now, the third part is precipitation, where the clouds get too heavy and either rain, sleet, hail, or snow falls. It starts off as snow because it's very cold in the sky, turns into rain, depending on the heat on Earth. But if it's getting colder, it will actually turn into sleet, snow, or hail. Again, hard to believe. Now the last part is runoff, where either the water from, again, the rain, snow, sleet, or hail, falls and either sinks into the ground and becomes groundwater where any ground animal or bugs that live underground can drink it or plants can use it to grow. Or the water doesn't soak into the ground and becomes a runoff. It flows down either a hill or a street into a lake, oceans, rivers, or a pond. Maybe even a stream. And that basically describes every single part of the water cycle. I love the water cycle because I think it's very interesting to learn about. And by this, I hope you love it too. Remember, the four main parts of a water cycle are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and a runoff or a collection. Have a great day and hope to see you again on live on Fox News with Riley Thrift. Bye.